Are you finding it challenging to keep your hot tub's pH level in check? A high pH level can make your water too alkaline, which can lead to scaling, cloudiness, and inefficient chlorine function. If not corrected, this can cause damage to your hot tub and its equipment. But don't worry, we're here to guide you on how to safely and effectively lower the pH level in your hot tub. Let's get started. First, let's clarify. What is pH and what causes it to increase? The pH in a hot tub is a measure of how acidic or basic the water is. If the pH is below 7, the water is acidic. But if it's above 7, it's alkaline. The ideal pH for your hot tub should be between 7.2 and 7.6. Any higher or lower than that can affect the overall water quality. So what causes high pH levels? Several factors can push your hot tub's pH to the higher end. These include 1. Alkaline substances Certain cleaning agents or even alkaline minerals in the water can cause an increase in pH. Cleaning agents that have soda ash or sodium bicarbonate, aka baking soda, will increase the total alkalinity and pH in your hot tub. It's best to avoid them or rinse them properly when cleaning the hot tub. 2. Tap water Tap water tends to have a higher pH level in comparison to the desired pH range for a hot tub. This is primarily because tap water often contains alkaline substances, such as minerals or bicarbonate ions. These alkaline substances, when dissolved in water, can contribute to an increase in pH. When tap water is added to a hot tub, the alkaline nature of these substances leads to a rise in the pH level. While you can't do anything for the pH levels of your tap water, you can always test the water after refilling the hot tub and add the needed chemicals to lower it. 3. People. When lots of people use a hot tub, the pH level tends to increase because they introduce contaminants into the water, such as sweat, oils, lotions, and other organic matter, which can have an alkaline effect and then raise the pH. It's important to test, adjust, and shock the hot tub after heavy use. Note, alkalinity and pH levels go hand in hand. Alkalinity acts as a buffer, helping to stabilize pH levels. When you adjust the pH levels, alkalinity also changes. This is why maintaining a balanced total alkalinity, TA, between 80 to 120 ppm, parts per million, is crucial for preventing wild fluctuations in pH. Always test and adjust the total alkalinity levels when adjusting the pH. Now, how do we lower pH levels? To lower the pH, you can use products such as pH decreaser or sodium bisulfate muriatic acid, and vinegar. pH decreaser is the best option, as it's a commercial product and it's properly mixed with water from experts. You can easily find it in your local pool stores. Muriatic acid is a commonly used pH reducer in hot tubs. It is a diluted form of hydrochloric acid. Muriatic acid is known for its low cost and effectiveness in quickly lowering pH levels. However, it is highly corrosive and requires careful handling including wearing protective clothing. Vinegar, specifically diluted acetic acid, is another alternative to reduce pH in a hot tub. However, vinegar has a lower acidity compared to the other acids, so larger amounts are needed to achieve the same pH-reducing effect. Note, these are all strong acidic products, so while using them, you must wear safety goggles, gloves, and a mask. How to lower pH using pH decreaser First, test your water's current chemical levels and write them down. Next, check the product's instructions to determine the right amount to use. It's usually written at the back. It's always easier to add more pH decreaser later rather than trying to adjust the levels after adding too much of it. So adding 75% of the recommended amount is always better. Step 3. Turn on the jet so the water can circulate and add the needed amount of the pH decreaser. After adding it, wait 2-5 to five hours before retesting the water. After a few hours, if the pH is still high, add more pH decreaser. If the pH is too low, add pH increaser. You can check the video on our channel on how to do that. If the pH is at a normal range, enjoy your hot tub! Next, how to use muriatic acid to lower pH levels. As mentioned before, muriatic acid is a strong acid, so you must handle it with care. Wear safety goggles, gloves, and a mask so you don't inhale it. 
first, test your water's current chemical levels and write them down. Next, turn the hot tub jets on and keep them running for at least 4-6 to six hours before and after adding the muriatic acid. This will ensure proper circulation. Step 3. Dilute the muriatic acid with water. Since muriatic acid is a strong acid, you must always dilute it before using it. The recommended ratio is 10 parts water to 1 part muriatic acid. However, always follow the manufacturer's instructions. To dilute it, add water to an acid-resistant bucket first, and then add the muriatic acid. Don't add the muriatic acid first to avoid splashes. Always add a very small amount first, as it's easier to add more later, rather than fix the issues that a high amount of muriatic acid can cause. After adding both, use a plastic or wooden stick to mix them for about 5 minutes. Step 4. Start by adding the mixture to different areas of the hot tub water, so it can be properly mixed. It's recommended to add it while you're walking around the hot tub. Step number 5. Let the muriatic acid dissolve for 2 to 5 hours before retesting the water. If the pH is too high, repeat the process. If the pH is too low, add pH increaser, and if the pH and alkalinity are at a normal range, enjoy your hot tub. Next, how to use vinegar to lower pH levels in a hot tub. First, test the water. Start by testing the water chemistry of your hot tub using pool chemistry test strips and write down the results. Step number two, turn the jets. Keep the hot tub jets running for at least four to six hours before and after adding the vinegar. This will ensure proper circulation and distribution of the vinegar throughout the water. Step number three, measure out three cups of white distilled or apple cider vinegar and pour them directly into the hot tub. Step number four, after four to six hours, retest the pH level of the hot tub water using test strips. If the pH is still high, you may need to repeat the process by adding another round of vinegar using the same measurements. However, this time at a maximum of four cups instead of three. Then activate the jets to circulate the water. After about 30 minutes, retest the water. If the pH is still high, use a pH decreaser instead of vinegar. If the pH is too low, you can add some pH increaser. If the pH is within the normal range, give yourself a pat on the back and enjoy your hot tub. Remember to check the total alkalinity levels too, ensuring it's within the 80 to 120 ppm range.